Welcome fellow knights, what's up guys, it's Pixelated Apollo, thanks for stopping by, hope you guys are doing well, and we are back in Middle Earth, this of course is Third Age Total War, it's another custom scenario made by Kuru Guru Chan, it's a 2 vs 2 pitch battle, in Rohan is in a time of need. They are surrounded by two Isengard forces. Really, they're not here to conquer. They're just here to raid the lands of Rohan because of course Saruman, he is, well, he turned to the dark side and he's building up that very, very impressive 10,000 strong army. So while he is doing that, he's raiding the lands of Rohan. So Rohan, in response to that, they have set up some patrol armies to protect their borders, and you can see here there's a small military encampment uh, next to this fairly large farm village, which makes sense because no food equals no army, so they gotta try to protect their, their food source. Uh, now, the scouts return with urgent news saying that Isengard is marching a very, very large uh, raiding army and that they will just get cut down. There's no way they can hold out against such a force. So Rohan, they very quickly send out their fastest riders and just, they have the largest luck, largest amount of luck ever and they find just random elves. You know, you know how elves are. They just walk around like, oh, some elves. Hey, you want to help us out? So sure enough, the Sylvan Elves, they have a small, I guess they had a small encampment nearby. Maybe they promised to help the Rohirrim a long time ago to protect their borders. But sure enough, here is an army here to save the day, uh, but it's still going to be a very challenging battle. Look at that balance of power. It's way in favor of Isengard, and that is today's scenario. I'm just happy to see Rohirrim because you never get to see them. They're just... I don't know why they're so they're they're a Saxon horse nation. It doesn't get much cooler than that. So I'm just happy to see the Rohirrim in action today. Let's go ahead and check out these army comps and then get this battle underway. We'll go ahead and fast or not fast forward, but speed it up a little bit because we are in super slow mo. We'll do a point three here. All right. So the first army, commanded by Miles and Davis, of course, is Rohan. He's bringing about four units of cav. Two of them be uh, two of them are horse archers and two are Rohan riders and then he has about three units of peasant archers so it's like the uh, farmers they put down their farming equipment and picked up their bows ready for battle and then he also has uh, some peasant spearmen he's got some militia in the back and then he's saving his more elite troops for the fight you know the the last stand so to speak so he's got some uh, more elite spearmen back here he's got some swordsmen and he's got the Riddamark Axeman, and here is his general. That's pretty much it. It's a very small, uh, very, well, I wouldn't say unskilled, but they've got a lot of, like, peasant units, so they're not exactly the best, but they've got to hold out until the elves can show up. And now looking at the Sylvan Elves, commanded by Sin of the Dark Cloud, here are the scouts. Oh, scouts? <laughs> you like that voice crack? So the elves are commanded by Sin of the Dark Cloud. He has two Rohirrim Cav forces. I guess that's like the scouts coming back. He's got some heavy lancers, which is a very nasty Cav unit. And then he has two units of Sylvan Heavy Arch or Horse Archers. And then for his infantry, he's got these Sylvan Heavy Swordsmen, so two units of them. He's also bringing the Sentinels of the Woodland Realms and he has some forest wardens. So it's not exactly a super elite army. He's got a lot of archers, so he's gotta rely on skirmishing the enemy to death, which is no surprise because, you know, they're the elves, that's what they do. And here's his general, the uh, Sindar archers. And that's pretty much it for the elves. Let's move on to Isengard. So the first army commanded by I Am The Destroyer. He's got a good mix of Uruk Reavers. He's got some raiders. Uh, some archers. He's also got some troops from Mordor. He's got some orc looters. He's got the Dunlanding clansmen and he has some warg riders. And then he also has two elite units of infantry, so Urukai infantry. And then the next army, which is crazy elite, he's got some cave trolls. Yeah, that's right. They've got a cave troll. Actually, you know what? They've got 12 cave trolls, so that's going to be a a little bit of an issue to deal with. Uh, the rest of his army, he's got some catapults. He's bringing a lot of Urukai infantry, pikemen. Here is his general and the general's bodyguard. He also has reavers, berserkers, uh, archers. So yeah, pretty solid force. And now we can go ahead and start the battle. 
So the trick here with Isengard is to be super aggressive. I don't think they should, they shouldn't hold back. They've got a ton more troops. They have way, like the, the quality of their infantry is a lot better than the defenders. Now I do want to mention real quick the rules here of this battle is that Rohan has to stay in the village and if Rohan gets destroyed it's game over. So if the elves show up uh, or even if the elves are still alive and Rohan gets destroyed it doesn't matter it's game over so that's why it's so important for the elves to get into position and to save their allies or they will be defeated. So yeah we got a nice early start here from the horse archers got a pretty cool position here harassing their army. Now, again, they don't really have an answer. You know, they can't fight back against these horse archers because whatever they throw at them, they're just going to run away. There's, like, there's nothing that's quick enough in the Isengard force that's going to be able to chase down these horse archers. So I think he should, again, just keep moving. But the biggest thing he needs to keep in mind here is not to separate his army. Uh, this right here, you see how he's moving his troops like this, his, his archers and stuff? Don't do that because he's going to be able to charge down this hill and get some really good uh, cab charges. So you never, ever want to separate your army whenever you're in this kind of situation because those couple of cab units are going to be able to swerve around, you know, weave their way through this army and get a bunch of cab charges. So let's see what he can do here. It looks like, well, so far his army's still intact. So we'll, let's... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, but I think he needs to just keep pushing and go for that village, and he should be all right. Now, looking at uh, the elves who are trying to trying to get into position, they're moving pretty fast. Uh, I don't think they're running. Yeah, they're just marching. But you know, elves are pretty quick, so their march is a pretty quick march. <laughs> go figure. Uh, but yeah, they're they're going up on this hill, trying to get in position before this other Isengard force moves forward so Isengard is actually running their troops yeah they well actually you know what they're yeah they're running that's a sprint that's a decent sprint oh my god look at this force man it's just a blob of, of a of just a giant force of Urukai and disgusting creatures and whatnot uh, but yeah they're gonna try to cut off those elves which is a smart move uh, obviously you don't want the elves in the Rohirrim united uh, let's head back over to the... Oh, we got some battle music going on. So I think we got some action going on here. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, we did get a... Uh, well, we got horse archers charging down. So I don't think we got a cab charge. Uh, he's just kind of going on the flank. I think the Rohirrim are, Rohirrim are kind of making a mistake here. Because they're getting in range of those archers. So there they go, firing down at that Isengard army. Pretty cool shot right there. I love seeing the horse archers. Here comes the returning fire, just firing down on their position. Where they're gonna keep moving, keep firing at that poor unit of clansmen. Just like Isengard's like, oh, just keep chasing them, guys. You'll catch up to them, I promise. But yeah, such skilled warriors being able to fire their bow and ride a horse. Uh, what is what is going on over here? Actually, wow, we got a cab charge from the war riders. Or, roar, yeah, riders. I always mix up riders and raiders, but yeah, they, they are riders, war riders. They got a good charge into the peasant archers, but they did not break them. So they're going to hold their ground, continue to fire, maybe try to fire the backs of these wargs. As, as you can tell here, they've killed a couple wargs from their, their arrows, uh, but not really enough to break them. Let's see what's going on over here. I think the elves are actually moving in with their horse archers. Yes, they are. This is a pretty good position right over this ledge. They're firing down at this huge blob of a force. Now remember, Isengard, they really have to rely on their heavy infantry. He cannot just sit back and get shot to death. So you see this elven army up on this hill? He just needs to charge it. He, he, if he just sits back, he's going to get evaporated by all those arrows. So hopefully he just moves, he doesn't hesitate, and he takes out that elven force. Uh, but the horse archers are now moving. Actually, wait, no, yes, th these are horse archers. All right, so the horse archers, they are moving over to this side to support their ally. And, oh, here we go, guys. We're getting some cab charges uh, into this, into the um, Isengard force, taking out some of these orc archers. And this Isengard army is just all over the place. This is what I was talking about. You can't divide up your army like this because all it takes is like three units of cav to just cut down all of your forces that's just how medieval 2 works even in third age total war 
Uh, but you can see his uh, Rohan riders getting hit there from archers. You've got to keep him moving, though. Rohan needs to keep moving, take advantage of the situation, and keep charging those archers. All right, let's see what's going on here. we got a bit of a, a melee going on between the cav units. These ward riders uh, are down to 16 men. Uh, but we do have some infantry support here closing in on these, uh, what are they, the, the Rohan Riders. Alright, let's go ahead and do some slow-mo here, guys, because this is where things get intense. So we have some trolls headed this way. we got pikemen marching over this way. It looks like they're going to try to close in on these horse archers, but there's no way they're going to catch up to them. Maybe he's just trying to scare them off. And then over on this front, we have the heavy lancers in position. Uh, just waiting for a good opportunity to charge and it looks like they're just kind of having a stare down uh, So that's not good. Isengard needs to, they just need to keep moving uh, What he needs to do here is get one of his cheaper units like the clansmen here Get them in loose formation send them up as a meat shield and then have his elite infantry close behind So they can charge this mound and take out the uh, the force without losing too many of their good troops uh, well, Let's head back this way. We'll do normal speed continue to see this very or continue to see the very terrifying cav charges here comes another charge coming in it looks like they're going to chase down these warp riders but the trolls the trolls man they're going to say no not this day not this day you're not going to pursue our war rider friends and they are just smashing these horses in half breaking their backs and killing the riders with the horses now trolls are actually pretty good at chasing down cav which it looks like he is going to try to pursue the cav uh, with the tr with the cave trolls it's pretty crazy how fast they are. I, I mean, could you imagine how terrifying it would be to see a giant troll run almost as fast as a cab unit? That would be very frightening. Uh, but let's see, what's going on here? Rohan still going in with the charges, man. Uh, but he's going to disengage here. Fall back because you can see some very angry berserkers trying to chase him down. Uh oh, uh oh, we got to look at this. Another cave troll charge. Uh, and look at, they're actually... Well, it took out like five there. Uh, we got one still chasing him down. This guy's still going. It's like he's part of the pack. It's like dancing with wolves. He's part of the pack. He's still running with this smog. He's, he, it's like he joined the rider. He's like, I've always wanted to be a Rohan rider. And he's still going. Okay, finally he stopped and he missed. He purposely missed because he loves them. He wants to be part of Rohan. My good, look how far away he is from the rest of his unit. Why did he chase them down for so long? That is insane. Peasant archers now firing at the flank of these Isengard infantry. You know, trying to take them out as they're busy trying to chase down the cav. Uh, let's see what's going on in this front. The elves are moving down this way. It looks like since Isengard is being super passive, which is a huge mistake. He's now going to get chopped into pieces from these elven arrows. So he is moving up the uh, light elven archers. They're going to spray down these arrows. And there is nothing they can do. There is nowhere they can hide. It's either advance forward or die. You have two choices. No step back. No retreat. Alright, so now the trolls are going for the uh, the archers. Going to silence these archers. And the cab unit still, look at this, still running around. It's amazing. It ro like, see, oh, whoa, that was a general. The general was trampled to death. He is killed. Uh, what is that? By some, what what unit killed? Was this over here? Uh, I think Was it the heavy lancers? I think so, yes. So, Sin in the Dark Cloud moving in his heavy lancers, uh, going after key units here. Here comes another cab charge into these archers. My goodness. These archers are getting slaughtered. We've got a unit of Uruk Reavers, though, closing in. And that should cut down these cab units. He needs to get out of there. He needs to pull out uh, before it's too late. And then over here, we've got more horse archers just kind of stuck in position. Uh, so, yeah, just insane amount of cab archers. Let's go ahead and zoom in the minimap, see what's going on so we can get a better view of the troop movement. Uh, the cave trolls just slaughtered these peasant archers without any kind of uh, resistance. I mean, there were no challenge for them. And uh, the Cav still charging in. Here comes Rohan Riders. Let's see if they can get a good charge in the back of these Urukai Raiders. Oh, yeah. Nice. Just a hot knife through butter. Very excellent. And then the, the Peasant Archers taking them on in melee. And these Raiders are breaking. They are breaking. Now, 
That's all it takes. A good old hammer and anvil, and that will crush anyone's spirit. Uh, let's see what's going on here. It looks like we got, well, a bit of a skirmish. But again, okay, let's let's really think this through. Oh, wait, wait, do we have infantry charging in? Oh, he does! He charged in the orc... The orc raiders, why? Why did he charge in some of his army, but not the rest of his army? Why did he do that? Uh, if you're gonna attack, he needs to attack with full force to take out this elven army. But now it's too late. This was his meat shield. And now the archers can focus down on the more elite troops. Uh, but check this out. He's actually peeling off some of his units, the Urukai infantry, and they're going to head over to help his ally, uh, who's still trying to deal with Rohan over here. We do have a lot of fighting going on here, but most of the heavy lancers have been cut down. The peasant archers dying so bravely. <laughs> they're, they're making... What I'm trying to say is they're making the ultimate sacrifice to save their farms. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, brave farmers of Rohan. Yeah, they're going to close in. The trolls still eating these guys up. We've got more trolls doing battle over here. All right, let's slow it down because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on at once. Two battles going on at once. Uh, oh, wow, the elves are actually moving in here. Uh, let's see, does he have some heavy lan Yes, the heavy lancers. He still has some uh, so Ro some Rohirrim cav left in this battle. So here we go, he's gonna charge in. I guess he realized that he has the advantage now. I mean, there's nothing he can do because he's, he's lost so much infantry already. And what kind of formation is this? Look at this. I don't blame this on the player. I think it's just the loose formation is glitching out. But oh yeah, here we go, look at this. Look at this, so many arrows are going to be coming in here soon. They're going to rack up so many kills. And Isengard is just sitting there. Uh, it's too late now. It is too late now. But the elves, are they going to continue to push? Are they? Yeah, they're just going to sit back. Why move in? You have the advantage just sitting back and getting kills. So let's, let's use that advantage. Uh, so Isengard, man, making a big mistake there. But that's okay. You know, I'm sure he's he's learned from the situation. Uh, yeah, whenever you're taking on a army that is archer focused, you don't want to sit back. You don't want to take your time, run down those archers, get in their face. You know, get your more elite infantry because obviously, if they have more archers, your infantry is going to be better. So you need to get your infantry in the fight to silence those archers. But look at this. This unit's like almost down to half strength. I mean, look how small it is compared to the to the other one. Oh my God, they are. Look at that. Here's it's just getting evaporated over here. And what is that? Is that the Washington Monument back there? What what is this? I didn't know they were fighting in D.C. I thought we were in Middle Earth. That's hilarious. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but yeah, that totally looks like the uh, Washington Monument. He does have some archers trying to fire back, but what's the use? Oh my god, his infantry. Look at all of the dead here. That is insane. Uh, so just like that, uh, his army is gone. And now the infantry is going in for the final kill. This is it. I mean, Isengard has already lost one of their generals, and they're about to lose another one. So this great elven charge. Get a bird's eye view of this. Here they go. Let's, uh, let's watch the first charge here of the Forest Wardens, and then we'll go down the line. This is my favorite part of Total War, seeing this long, epic infantry charge. There we go. Yes, charge. Here comes the very elite swordsmen. They're going to do a lot of damage to these forces. Here comes another charge. Very cool. So that's going to start that battle. Uh, let's head over to the other side, see what's going on, uh, because Isengard is making a desperate push. I think they realize that uh, the, the other Isengard force is getting destroyed and that the only way Isengard is going to win this one is by just being very aggressive and taking out Rohan. So we can see a huge blob of troops here uh, destroying these peasant spearmen. I'm actually surprised that the, the uh, peasant spearmen are still holding with a unit of 25. That's kind of crazy. Now that they're down to 25, here comes the pikemen. How cool does that look? So if we look on the minimap, you can see the small, the small patches of troops uh, defending very strategic positions. There we go. The trolls are just punching holes into their defenses. 
and we have uh, the we actually we have the reinforcements from the ally. I am the destroyer. He's moving uh, around the windmills here, and he's gonna get around the defenses. Look at that, right through the uh, two windmills. Very cool. That is a very cool shot right there. Uh, let's see what's going on. Still, the fight continues on over here. A small group of militia fighting the brotherhood of the militia. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder, taking on a giant force of Rurikai. And now they're getting outflanked by the trolls. That's not going to be good for the morale. These guys will break in a matter of minutes because of that flanking charge. Let's head over to this main fight. See how this is going. Oh, yes. No surprise here. The elves are cutting down the very depleted, the very tired troops of Isengard. So that infantry was just no match because they were so they were so hurt. And look at he's still he doesn't even care about friendly fire. The elves, man, they're they're reckless. They are reckless. So just like that, that was amazing. Just how the elves just obliterated. The Isengard, Isengard force. I mean, he made so many mistakes in that situation. And the elves just really capitalized on it. Uh, here's the heavy lancers, though. Still alive. Still getting some hammer and anvil. It's good to see that they still have some cab left alive because that's going to be very critical. And now the elves are moving out. They realize, they realize that Rohan is hanging on by a thread. And he is down to a handful of troops. This is it for the resistance. This is it right here in this open farm. I don't know, what is it? what kind of farm is this? Let's say uh, it's, um, it's a peanut farm, I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> they're ready to hold. The archers are gonna stand their ground and fire. Oh wait, no, they're gonna stop. Uh, I guess, oh, is he gonna try to run away? Oh, he's not gonna make it though. Isengard is gonna stop him from retreating. And that is not good. Those archers need to stay alive. He needs to try to use every single arrow before he goes into melee with his archers. And here comes the storm of Isengard forces, the Urukai pushing their way through. He probably needs to get this unit to fall back. Yeah, fall back that unit. Um, he's got more spears just kind of protecting, uh, protecting strategic positions. Now we got the Riddermark Axemen going in, into combat. And there we go. The last general for the uh, Isengard attackers. He has been killed. And now they have they no longer have any more generals. That's going to really hurt their morale. And that might be the saving grace for Rohan. Uh, they just need to get a chain route. Chain route, which uh, is very possible in this situation since they no longer have generals. Uh, but now the Axemen are eager to take on the Urukai infantry. They are thirsty for blood. Ready to, ready to test their skill in battle. Oh geez, look at this. Oh yeah, they're taking they're taking advantage of their numbers. I mean, I don't know why. He should have just formed a shield wall at this opening. Uh, he kind of just he was a little too aggressive here. Now his flank is exposed. He's moving over more spearmen over to this side. Uh, probably going to join the fight, protect his flank. And now the pikemen are pushing their way through. This is going to be a very challenging battle for the swordsmen. Pikemen are just so good at breaking through choke points. Alright, let's see how close the elves are. Oh, they are extremely close. They are at the windmills. Uh, the cave trolls are actually staying back in reserve, but the elves are going to take advantage of that and try to take them out from afar. Uh, they are, wow, they're dropping like flies. I mean, most of their hit, uh, their hit points are gone. They're all bloodied up. He's now going to charge them into, the, into melee, but look at that. Every couple seconds, a troll dies. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, there goes, it. there goes two, there goes three, they're down to two. Oh my god, these bows are ridiculous. These elves, man, they're crazy. All right, but he's got to hurry up because Isengard, well, are they breaking? They're shaking. They they can't handle the, the Axemen. The balance of power, though, it's, it's now way in favor of uh, Rohan, I believe. Yeah, right? Yeah. 82% of the enemies have been killed. Oh, here comes a... Oh, this is huge right here. Oh, this is a big problem right here. Isengard punching through the defense. 
They're, they're going around the flank. Nothing is defending this area. And this is going to be a big issue for Rohan. They've got to protect every single flank or they will crumble. The general's freaking out. Of course, if the general dies, then it's game over. So you got to keep them alive. More berserkers are coming in. Uh, so don't worry about the balance of power. Remember, the balance of power doesn't mean anything. Because it's all about killing Rohan. And Rohan, as of right now, they're, they're crumbling. They are absolutely crumbling. I mean, they're holding all right in the center here. But on the flanks, they are outnumbered, surrounded. It's only a matter of time until this army is destroyed. But look on that mini-map. You see that? The great blue uh, triangles here. That is the elven army. They are on their way. The pikemen dealing with some militia here. Still fighting the militia. And the archers are now in position up on the hill. Oh man, they might be late. I mean, or maybe they're just in time. This is going to be extremely close. Because the, uh, the Rohirrim army is just hanging on by a thread. Is that the general? Oh, is that? Oh, that's the general. He's charging into some pikemen, into the backs of some pikemen, but they're turning around. They did some pretty big... Di Look at that. Look at all the bodyguards that were killed in that charge. He's got to keep that general alive. He's got to keep him alive. Uh, but again, he's got to keep him close to his army so they don't break. Oh, man, this is going to be so close. That elven infantry need to get... Oh, here they come. Here they come. We've got some heavy swordsmen right on time. Let's see, though. Uh, we can see the archers. Where is that coming from? Look at that archer position right here. Very cool. This is a nice village. You know, I'd live in this village, you know. Be a good old farmer. Take it easy. You know, live, live the easy life. Live the good life. Not a care in the world. Except for now, you know, when Isengard attacks. But, you know, you got to look at the bright side of life. Like, even though Isengard has a massive army ready to destroy your guts, it's... Look at the weather. The weather is nice. You know, you got to look at the positives, you know. Uh, but, wow, they actually broke Isengard there. Thanks to the elven uh, arrow support, archer support, and the uh, the heavy lancers cutting down. They have actually are victorious in the center, but they still have to take this flank. They still have to protect their flank. Uh, but it's looking really good for Rohan now. It seems like they're going to turn this one around. And the elves show up right on time. So here they come, charging in. Oh, we still have some warg riders alive, though. Oh, jeez. Charging into the uh, the archers here. Here comes the uh, heavy swordsman. This should be the nail in the coffin for Isengard. Yeah, didn't really see any catapult action in this one. I mean, I wonder what happened to the catapults. Oh, they're just kind of hanging back here. <laughs> What's going on? The bodyguard, they're just chilling. They're like, hey, hey, what's up, guys? You, uh, you like your job with Saruman? You like being an artillery crew? All right. I'll see you later. Take it easy, guys. Stay alive. Stay out of trouble. I don't know. What are they doing over there? I guess they, they don't realize what's going on. So, yeah, that's that, this looks like it's going to be a victory for Rohan and their elven allies. Uh, I feel like Isengard made a lot of mistakes there. A lot of mistakes that, well... It's, it wasn't like the players were bad. It's just they made bad decisions. Uh, first off, uh, this main Isengard force by Kuru Guru Chan, he separated his army and they got charged. Like, they got cycle charged left and right because he didn't keep his army together as one. Uh, you want to have all the units supporting each other and protecting their flanks and just watching out for those cab charges. Uh, but. Also, he didn't really have the right tools to take on all those cab units. But you got to use those pikemen. And it seemed like his ally was moving over some warg riders uh, to support him. But it just wasn't enough. And then the other player uh, who was taking on the elves. Oh, this massacre. I mean, I just... You know what? Can, can we take a moment, guys? Just a moment of peace here. A moment of silence uh, to remember all of the uh, slain... Uh, Urukai who were just brutally murdered by arrows from the elven arrows. So let me just uh, just bow your heads guys Okay, all right, amen. All right <laughs> All right rest in peace guys. Uh, so yeah, he was too he was too passive 
I think this player, he should have just attacked as soon as possible, moved up his infantry, silenced those bows, and get in his face. But he did not do that. And now we're just kind of uh, watching the, uh, the final charge here. We're just going to go ahead and fast forward. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Isengard could have easily have won this one. I think they had plenty of troops, plenty of, you know, of, of everything. Plenty of elite troops to take them out. But they just kind of were too slow on the, uh, the charge there. And uh, the elves, man, look at this. Look at this. 3,299 kills. That's insane. And 259 prisoners. Uh, Rohan also did really well considering their army. Lots of peasants in that army, but they still got a decent amount of kills. Uh, Isengard on this side. I mean, it was still really close. That's the that's the crazy thing. Is like, it seems like they got obliterated, but it was still pretty close. They almost destroyed Rohan. It was only if if the elves were like a minute later, uh, like um, you know, from showing up, they would have uh, Rohan would have been destroyed. Uh, but yeah, 910 kills. Uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it for today's victory. And then 1,800. I believe this is Kuru Guru Shan's army. Uh, but let's look at the the kills here for Rohan. 147 by the militia, which is actually really good. 358 by the uh, Rohan Riders. Again, that cab just wrecked lives. Uh, 243 with the bodyguard, which is pretty good. So that's going to wrap up today's scenario. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully we can see more battles like this where it's like, uh, you know, a mix of low quality units and really good units. And it was just a lot of fun to see the tactics and stuff like that. It was a really cool kind of like ambushy kind of battle. Uh, but thank you once again for, for watching. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed the uh, the video, be sure to leave a like, a comment, share. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more Third Age action, more epic battles, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So thank you guys once again, and I will see you next time.